Hello, this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Deluxe video. Today, I'm going to be trying to unlock Crow's Unlock Missions. But, let's get to that in a second. Anyway, I just got back from therapy, um, within... I have no idea how long, actually. Because I was busy trying to find an image, and, uh... It probably would have been faster if I just watched the episode. If I just hunted it down, it would have probably been faster. But whatever, whatever. So is anything wrong going on in this NJX world right now? Because if so, that is an inconvenience. I am going to destroy you guys. No one gets in my way and gets away with it. Okay, um, I'll do all, I'll do them. I mean, I mean, I knew that there was probably going to be an appearance. Yeah, I knew. That's how long I haven't had the game pulled open. I mean, I opened it briefly to um, do all, all the standard ghosts in the area and get Jaden to level 40. Okay. You guys get to see what happens when you ma- Oh, waves. Mm -hmm. I see, so there are waves out here too. I see. By the way, I have one of the most annoying cards in my hand. <laughs> so if you if you try anything, that card is coming up. It's coming for you. <laughs> I didn't need to do that, but I did it anyway. I just felt like it was better that I did it. You know, not take any damage to my life points or anything like that. Although, my life points could still get damaged. I mean, we'll, we'll see. It's my turn. Dude. You, you, oh, I pulled another one. That's right, you're going to defense position. Dude, what is with you guys in having monsters with zero defense? I know you guys are just generic henchmen, but come on. That's dumb. <sighs> okay, I draw. Okay, I'll pull some. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. The most interesting thing about this is I'm sure I can take out that card. And I was right. I would have acknowledged that I was wrong if I was. But it would have also been obvious. Okay. You know, my skill was nerfed and I, I haven't, I, bar I barely noticed. Okay. I add a so I can I add um, an elemental hero from my hand that I can summon. Yes, that's right. I specifically mentioned that I can summon. I can't summon Neos right now. I need another card on the field if I want that. And I we're not talking about where my mask is. Okay. Something tells me I should destroy this. Well, what does it do? Oh, I see. Well, just to spite you, I'm actually using a spell card. <laughs> okay, I talk. Well, that wasn't much, but that's fine. Okay, next wave. Next wave. Final wave. Man, these waves are very weak. I mean, I'm not saying that they're terrible duelists. I'm just saying that I was expecting more of a challenge. <laughs> okay. I see. Well, I draw. Okay. Hmm. I summon one of the most annoying cards in the game. Yes, that's right. I summon it. 
And, um, you know why? Because I want to be annoying every time I use this card. Okay, I attack you. I'm just gonna attack all the attacks. You take everything from my attacks, yes. Your life points are now zero. I win. I win. Alright. I'm going to uh, see what I can do with these deck in a second. But I also have a very awful joke to make. A very awful reference. A very awful thing that I probably should not joke about. But, uh... I, I want to say it because I've got a weird sense of humor. So I'm going to 5D's world and uh, I decided to record this video because I'm bored and uh, my therapist was talking to me about how people do dangerous things when they're bored and um, w what are you talking about? Um, dueling on duel runners is completely safe. There is nothing wrong with dueling on them whatsoever. Well, okay, I guess sometimes there is something wrong with... Yeah. You know what, yeah, that, that image is just like, why would you duel on a motorcycle? That, that doesn't sound safe. It's not even safe in 5Ds. Although, you say is very much alive. He, he is alive at the end of this series. His limbs are all fully functional. So don't worry, he um he barely got it. I, I I don't know. What happened after that do I forgot? Anyway, Kaon is now mad because I brought that scene up. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what can I do with your deck? What can I do to make it less terrible? <laughs> okay. And the game is back up, right? Okay, just making sure, just making sure I uh, make mistakes sometimes in recording. Okay. Hmm. I just need a dueling assessment of 5,000. So, to get the dueling assessment of that, well, I know if you do only effect damage, then you get a lot for that. And if I add a booster as well, that should help significantly. Especially if I also win. Okay, give me a second while I... Yeah, so something about my brain is not functioning right. Okay. You know what I think is wrong with my brain? Not much, not much. I'm just... I have a lot to think, of, think about. I have a lot to think about. So there isn't really anything wrong with it. It's just I've got so much on my mind. Okay. But good luck to me drawing that. I'm just saying. All right. I'm going into a duel. And uh, I, I have no idea how this is going to work. Like, am I just going to end up wasting boosters? I, I, I have no idea. Um, I know. I know how to synchro summon. Tell someone that doesn't know how to synchro summon how to synchro summon. Do, do I look like I don't know how to synchro summon? Do I look like someone that doesn't know how to synchro summon? I guess this guy doesn't know because I haven't shown him my deck. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go, let's go. I'm going to try to deal only effect damage. And, dude, I was going to try using a booster, I forgot. Um, alright. That's... That puts a heavy dent in my plans. I'll just be honest. Because... I really needed... A booster to make sure that I would get to... Yeah. Not good, not good at all, but we'll see what happens. I mean, I've gotten over 4,000 doing it. I've, got, I've gotten to 5,000 doing assessments before, but I can't remember how or what I did to get there. And I'm pretty sure it was a long duel. Anyway, I'm 
I can consistently get to 3,000 plus doing assessments, sometimes 4,000 if I'm careful. But 5,000 effort must be made. Yeah, 5,000 and effort must be made. Uh, when I get, I um, get something from taking no damage as well. So I should keep that in mind. I should keep that in mind. Okay, smashing ground. Okay. I know I get something for destroying a bunch of monsters, so I guess we'll see how long I last before I have to just end it. So if this card stays on the field for eight standby phases, eight standby phases, I can just take him out without doing any damage with any, with any of my monsters. And I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Which is why I'm kind of concerned. Because I forgot the booster. I forgot the booster. The booster was part of this. Although you can fail even when you use the booster, but still. Okay. And now I'm going to I'm going to put this right here. Okay, I end my turn. I'm almost at the fourth standby phase. It is now my turn. All right. We we continue. We continue the madness. I don't want to do any damage to this guy because I want to take him out with effect damage. But I'm not sure if that'll be enough to get me to where I want to be. Now I do know, again, that I do get something for not taking any damage. Alright, I end my turn. I draw. I attack this card. All right. I end my turn and the next turn I'm going to end it. Next turn I'm just going to end it. Um, should I end it if he just puts down a monster? If I destroy a lot of monsters, I get something for that. Uh, I'll continue. This is wild, dude. This is wild. Okay. Well, I can't use that spell card. So I guess I'm gonna have to discard one at the end of it my turn. Now, I'm not sure what to discard, but just in case, um, I don't need two Amazonas bodies. Stop setting monsters. Okay, well I should want him to destroy. I should want him to summon monsters so I can make sure I can get to. Uh, I need the full five thousand. I need the assessment. I need it. Okay, discard from your hand. Uh, I'm just going to discard that from my hand. I try to discard in the way that will least damage me. Let's just be honest here. Okay. And I don't think this guy has anything in his deck that can just, that can take me down. So I think I'm good there. Okay, I end my turn. I think I should just take him out. Like this is the this is just prolonging the duel. And the the more cards I destroy, the higher my score is going to be. So there is that, and um, I'm not even sure how I'm going to do. Discard card from your hand. Okay, well, Junk Breaker. I don't need that card. I don't really need any Synchro Monsters either, but if I Synchro Summoned, I think that would also increase my score. Unfortunately, no single summoning for me. 
I chose that path, and this is the path I'm taking. Okay, discard one card from your hand. Okay. I hope it doesn't have anything that can take out back row. Now this card would be horrible in a ranked duel because my opponent would just be like, uh, no, and destroy it. Um, I think maybe, maybe I can get, oh, wait. Mm. My opponent is almost out of cards. So my opponent being out of cards means I should end the duel. <laughs> I should end the duel. So, since my opponent is running on cards, I end the duel. So, even if that's a monster, I have to end it. Okay. I draw from my hand. I mean, I draw from my deck. Okay, now I have to make this fat. 8,000 damage, wow. Well... How did I do without that booster? I I just want to know. Okay. Oh wow. What six? Oh wow. Wow. I made over six. Out. Wow, that's oh, that's amazing. Wow, I got over 6,000. That is amazing. I did not expect that. Wow, that was, that was cool. But I don't see his unlock missions anywhere. I, I, I might have to re-Google this. I mean, sources can be wrong. And sometimes I do question the accuracy of the sources I'm using. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check. I mean, maybe that was someone else that wanted that. But in that case, who want, whose secret condition was that? I have no idea. I do not know. But I'm going to look it up. Like, I could have sworn that's what... I could have sworn that's what I read. But obviously, again, not all sources are accurate. Okay. Oh, I have to defeat the sector security. That's a very specific... Okay. That is why it didn't work. I see. Because I was not dueling against such a security. That is why it did not work. Well, such a security, get your butt over here. That is not such a security, and I knew that, but I clicked on him anyway. Okay, well, it can't just be any random. Unfortunately, so uh, I'm not really sure what to do. I said I was going to, uh, yeah, sure. I, I'm not doing you. I have no intention of doing that right now. Unlocking Dark Sign or Kaelin is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything else, and, uh... Well, I I'm just like, I really... Uh, well, who could I use these, um, standard tools? Use continuous spell cards five times in the world. Okay, well, I need to achieve one combat victory against Duce. So I'm going to use Jack for that. So I need to make Jack's deck good for something. 
Sorry, Jack, but your starter deck sucks. Um, yeah, th that is the most awful thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, dude, how do you win with a deck like this? I bet you don't. Dude, is this even your real deck? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know why the decks in this game always suck when you unlock someone. It's perfectly obvious to me. But it's still fun to joke about. It's still fun to joke about it. Um, What kind of decks do I want this to be? I was thinking of Blue Eyes, but I think I've used that card up too many times. I think I need a break. Yeah, I like the break is even going to last long. Um, maybe a dark deck? That really does not fit what it, Um, I've changed my mind. Save, yes, I'm saving that. And by the way, um, I should probably also, well, there's a, there's that thing there that says it's not use, usable, so... I'm going to give Aki a deck. I'm going to go as Aki instead. Which is the better move and the better decision. Winning is impossible. What? Why did I name it that? I mean, sometimes I just look at my deck names and I'm like, what? I have no idea what that is about, but I'm just... Okay, fine. I mean, I do what I want with the monsters I have, I guess. Okay, um, two level four monsters. Okay. Hello? I need to put some monsters in this deck. Monsters that can actually be summoned. And now it's actually, now I'm actually making a vampire deck, but I also want, want that one secret monster in the deck too. So there's that. Okay, and by the way, I do not have enough resources to uh, give Aki her deck just yet, so. She'll be waiting, she'll be waiting. And if you're if you're making a jab, well, you have resources if you save them well. Yes, that is true, but also, I don't really have any desire to rush this process. I think I've learned my lesson. Okay, that's a lie, I have not. But, Let's pretend I have and leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, let's pretend I have and leave it at that. Sure. I don't know why this card is in the deck. Okay. This... I'm gonna take this card out. I'm gonna take this card out. I'm gonna take... Well, I'm taking that card out. Okay, I'm going to put some tuners in this deck. Um, but I also... Hold on a second. I don't need the puppet ritual cards in this deck. I took out Quattro's cards because I don't need them. <laughs> yeah, I don't need them. I mean, if I put his cards in the deck, that would just be annoying. I, I brick more often than not. And I think we know how easily I make decks that brick. Yeah, I, I don't think I need to show that off. I think people get it by now. All right. And now again, I already already know what deck I'm making. Okay, um, this is definitely going to be hard and tricky since there are some cards I've got that uh, I wanted to put in here. 
So I only have room for two tuners if I stick with this, if I stick with these traps. To be fair, I'm not sure if the traps are worth keeping. I, I don't know. Should I take them out? Again, I just don't know. But I do need tuners. So that should help with the balance of the deck. Considering now that there are less monsters than there are spells and traps. Which is never something I want to see. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to put these cards in there. They, they don't make any sense whatsoever. But they're, they're, they're the ones I'm picking. Okay, now I'm going to... Uh, Now for anyone curious why this is what I'm dealing with, it's because I want to make a legitimate deck for this archetype at some point. I mean, I've already dueled against it a million times. Yeah, I've already dueled against it a million times. So I may as well build the deck, even though I catch those monsters. I mean, I destroy those monsters. They didn't stand a chance. Although there is some luck, there is some luck involved. But let's ignore the luck that went into it. Let's pretend that I never almost lost. Okay. I'm looking at synchro monsters and I guess it's CD monsters. I'm not looking at pendulums or anything like that. Pendulums are not wild enough to ship. They're wild if you're using a deck that is focused on them. And, but you really have to make sure that you're careful when you use a pin on the deck. Because you could break. Oh, I guess it's actually Yuya that could break. Oh, my mistake, my mistake. It's Yuya that would break. Yes, I see. I, I made a lot of mistakes. Okay. And now, uh, there was, there was some, uh, there was another card I was looking for. I wonder if it, um, that is not the card I'm looking for. Would it be easier if I just checked one at a time? Probably. There are a lot of Z monsters though. I mean, thanks, Astral. Thanks. Not overkill or anything. Although it is a good way for Konami to make money. Just say that. Just make the entire plot of his series. You need nine. You need ninety-nine number cards. Oh, but actually, there are secretly more than ninety-nine. Eh, thanks. Thanks. Sure. I've got this card now, by the way. I got it off screen. I had this feeling that if I tried to pull from that pack, I, I could get something I want. And that is still the most flawed logic ever, but I did. Um, actually, there's another... Well, there's another card that I want in the deck, but... I'm, it's very, very vague. I don't know the card's name. So, thanks for not telling me our name card. I mean, I know you can't actually speak, but come on. Okay, so I do happen to know that the card I'm looking for is a dark monster. If he's not a dark monster, then I would like to ask why, but sure. Um, I wish I could just go into the castle because, I mean, I mean, the guy's right there. Um, that's probably better than, uh, this card, so I'm going to put that in the deck. Okay. Um, how, how much attack does it have? I can't remember that either. 
Well, do I remember what type it is? It's an effect monster. I think it, I mean, I believe it. it's not level four. Okay, so um, it's an effect monster, if I recall correctly. And uh, I think it's a zombie type. I have no idea what level it is, but I believe you need tributes. So, um, I don't think it's higher than level 9. I think it's at least the weight. Okay, uh... It is very strange. Okay, okay, um... Yeah, it's this card right here. Yeah, I want it in my deck. Yeah, even though he attacked me and tried to take away my entire life. <gasps> I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So it's in the past now until he does it again. Okay, hey, um, I have, I'm going to change the name of this deck. Um, what, like, I wonder, okay. All right, just in time for Halloween, a Halloween deck. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so I had to fight against... Jolinks, can you stop, please? I've already turned down your... I've already turned down your resolution or whatever. I actually don't think resolution is the charm I'm looking for. I think I'm looking for something else. I mean, I know that it's... I know that I turned down something. But I'm not sure what it is. Wow. I think... I think the game is offended by my deck. Yes, my deck offended it, so the game crashed. <laughs> and now it's thinking about whether it should let me back on or not. To be honest, it's probably just how many players are logged on again. That's probably why it hasn't loaded back. Okay, do I have to close the game and reload it? Because sometimes I have to close Steam entirely for me to be able to reload the game. I'd really rather... Oh god. Well, guys, um... The game is having trouble functioning. I have no idea why, because Chrome isn't open, Discord is also not open, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know if the Discord has any effect on my videos, I probably should have checked on that, yeah I really should have checked before uploading some of those videos, I can't remember which ones were recorded while Discord is up though. I think it was, I think it was the Dark Side of Dimensions ones, I think those, hmm, this, Duel Links, this is ridiculous, I'm, guys, I had to close the program and re, up, and put it back up, that was a ridiculous amount of time for me to just leave it sitting there, I do realize that, but, also, Dolinks, I don't appreciate you doing that. I don't appreciate what you just did. Y you just stopped working. And then you left me sitting on that loading screen. Like you were going to load, and then you didn't load. Yeah, that was, that was very respectful of you. Let me duel with whatever deck I want, okay? I know it could brick, but I mean, I'm used to bricks. Yeah, I'm used to bricks. Yeah, yeah, I don't think being used to breaking is a good thing. I mean, just to be fair and honest. But also, that makes uh, the mixed quadruple deck fit me even more because of how often I put level 8 monsters in my deck. I also put a lot of level 4 monsters in my deck. And usually don't put any, and usually don't put anything lower than, uh, and I usually don't, put, oh, okay, well, anyway, I don't, 
usually put anything lower than level 4 in my deck. I have done that, but I usually don't. Okay. Well, well, now, now I can do what you say. This game can be very rude sometimes, you know? Okay, well, my deck is is good at breaking, so a comeback victory shouldn't be that hard. So I'm not going to be making an effort to hold back, because uh, I think Yusei can do it himself. Okay, let me go find him. He's right there. Okay, um, I don't know if he's required at level 30 or not, but, yeah, let's have fun. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to have fun. You see, that's what I should aim for in all my duels. Alright, so, let's see how I do, let's see how I do. I mean, I'm doing him at level 30, so that should be awesome. That should very, that should be right. Okay, I am not breaking. I am glad that I am not breaking right now. But I still need a comeback victory, so... Uh... Activate this effect. I really like Aki a lot. I decided to unlock her because I I just wanted to. And I unlocked her first. So there's that as well. And then I unlocked Jack. And then I unlocked Kaylin. And then proceeded to not uploading any videos about me unlocking either one. Because the videos sucked. Also, I'm not sure Kaylin would want that online anyway. Jack, though, he'd be like, dude, you messed up. Do it again. Um, well, that's definitely... Um, okay, give me a second. This is bad. But, I mean, I, I did do this for a reason. To send to the graveyard. Uh... <laughs> from your hand. Okay, so this was on this card. Um... I want to send, I want to send that card to the graveyard. Um, I probably should not have done that. I didn't realize that was on the field. But, you know, you know. Select the card to add from your deck to your hand. Yeah, I definitely did not add a monster like I should have. But, I need this card on the field. Alright, um... I also, I made a very awful mistake, and that mistake was, that mistake is very obvious. I don't think I need to tell anyone what it is. I mean, you don't even have to know anything about this card game to know. Okay, let's go, let's do this. How's this for a comeback victory? I did say I wasn't going to hold that because I thought he could handle the dog himself. I mean, it's true. Mo when you when you're doing someone at level thirty, they can usually they can do some damage to life points if you aren't good enough to avoid that. That's right. That's right. I may be losing right now, but. But, uh, I, I can come back from this. My life points are not zero. As long as I have life points left, this is not over. Although I do have to be careful because I do get life points when I do damage. Okay. Is this the only monster I'm going to get? Come on, I need something else. I need something else. Yeah, I, I really do. I need another monster. 
And now I think I should attack just once. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, this should be... A, okay, this might be harder than I thought. Yeah, I'm admitting that. I, I don't really know if this is possible. Okay, well, if Rose attacks, then that's still more life points than I've got. So, okay, so Rose will attack next turn. I'll attack his face down the monster and then attack with Rose. You... Oh my god. Dude, stop, stop, stop. No. You're going to the fifth position. All right. Okay, so I attack, I attack. Yeah, I attack there. And I attack with Rose and I think I still get, um, Okay, he took no damage from that. But I don't actually think I've done the math accurately. What? Well, okay, sure. But this is not good at all. Okay, well, how am I doing there? Well, I've got more life points now, but... Uh, I can just pay some life points. I've done that plenty of times. To be, on to be honest, I kind of want to, but... Actually, this bear would go to the graveyard. Uh, why should I care? I mean, sure, it's going to go to the graveyard, but... If this card is weaker, after this bear is just, yeah, I should want to do that. I should not hold back for any reason. Just because of the axe of despair. I mean, it's easy to get axe of despair off the field. So I should really take this into consideration I mean, whenever I use it. Like, it's easy to get off the field. It, it doesn't take a lot of effort. There are many cards that I can take. I can just take that away. Um. Okay. Well, this is definitely, dude. Okay. Fine. Fine. Um. I I don't have anything that can. All right, fine. Maybe that wasn't the best decision of my entire life. But I'm sure I can do something, right? I mean, surely. That isn't the kind of something I was thinking of. But, okay. Okay, um... Normal summon this card. And then target. Oh, yes. Yes. I pay 1000 life points. Select the card to target. Is this card. Um, but the. Dude. But that doesn't help me any- this doesn't help me at all. Select cards to destroy, okay, um, this card, actually. Okay, select the cards you sent to the graveyard. Alright, I got myself out of that, and I've got less life points than he does. 
Which effect is that? Oh yeah, that one. Okay. I think I've got this. I think I've got this win now. Obviously, I've got to keep less life points than he has, but that's covered, I believe. You can special summon them from your from the graveyard to your field. Yes. I always like doing this. I like selling my opponent's monsters. I mean, it is definitely very rude, but uh, it is a valid strategy. Okay. Well, that card doesn't do doesn't do anything. Okay. I've got this. I I just had to make sure that I'm careful. That's it. Okay, monster cards. You know, I'm just putting monster cards in his deck. Select cards to destroy. Um, my monster is guard. Okay, I select the cards that sent to the graveyard. Okay. Well, let's battle. And that should be it in terms of a combat victory. Alright, nice. As she won, she won. So that that ended that ended in the way that I wanted it to. And I indeed did not need to hold that. Yes, thank you, you say. That was a great tool. I wasn't even sure if I was going to make it. Use continuous spell cards five times in the world. Okay. Well, it, I need to win three duels within five turns. Oh. Well. Now that's better than a quick victory, but just by a little. Okay. Um. I think it, I think this is something I'm going to have to do myself. So, if anyone's curious what I'm doing, it's uh, leveling off the stage. I'm leveling it up for respawns. And hopefully the, pr the pr um, character I have to do is going to be one of them, eventually. Alright. I have to do this within five turns. Sure, I don't see how this could possibly go wrong. It could go wrong in a lot of ways. Let's just be honest. Um. Well, I'm going to. You know, it, it's actually a pretty bad decision to do that right there. Okay. So, you're taking my monster, are you? Well, that's not very nice. Although I did it in the last duel, so what am I talking about? <laughs> Why do you think I even steal monsters to begin with? Because a lot of people do it to me first. And then I'm like, well, I'll do it again. Oh, okay, hold on. This is the dumbest way to get my monster back, but it works. Oh, wow. I actually... Well, I still take life point damage for that. I mean, because it's in an attack position. Okay, that should be exactly five turns. I mean, unless something stupid happens. Which could indeed happen, by the way, because a lot of stupid things happen. Okay, give me a second. Alright. I use this as a ticket. So that's right. Okay, now I, now I add, I'm going to activate this. Oh, that's right. I am coming in, I'm coming in. I am going to take, yeah, I am winning this. Okay. Um, sure. 
I attack my opponent directly. Okay, that is exactly five turns. As I thought, as I suspected. This is definitely a lot better. I definitely do not regret chasing after this field spell. But I don't know if I want one of them in my deck or if I should get more. Okay. That is one of the wins. I need another one within five turns. Okay. Um, let me just walk here. Uh, yes, I just need one more. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do when I get there. I mean, when I do get there, it's like, well, I'm still, I'm still going to have standard Dulles luck. So I got so I'm gonna have to get rid of them first. Okay. Well, I mean I've got tuners in the deck, so although I've got tuners in the deck, um, is Black Rose Dragon even in here? I mean I'm just trying to hope, hope while I see it on screen, yes. <laughs> Is it in the deck? Yes, I see it right there. Okay. That's right. Okay, so I think after I win this duel, if it's a quick, if it's a victory within five turns, I think I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm just going to end the video there and come back when I'm done with responding stuff. I mean, watching me do a bunch of standard goals isn't very entertaining. Um, okay. Well, that is definitely painful, but I take the damage because I feel like that was better than not taking it. Okay, I draw. Okay. And this is going to be interesting. Okay, well now I use smashing ground. Okay. If you have no card in your and I'll face up my face. Activate Dark. Then you can special one. Okay. I'm going to activate this. This card. Yes, I'm activating it. But I I mean this card goes to the graveyard at the end of the turn. Because of yeah. So this isn't actually good. But I might draw something eventually. Okay, well, I give myself some I give myself some defense. So that's good at least. All right. Um, what is my opponent doing? I have no idea, but this is the fifth turn. Oh god. <laughs> well, it's okay to fail. It's okay to fail because at least I don't have to worry about it. You know, I'd really... Hold on, let me see what I can do. Um, for this card. Uh... Banish it. Well, what does this card do? Okay, you can attack. Okay, any card of types that activate. Okay. Well, um. I mean, I'm starting to think now. I had a duel recently where it's like, um, hold on, hold on. Can I find a way to win this? And I actually got someone to surrender. It was the best thing ever. 
Okay, I am um, banish that monster. But that is still not enough. But I'll do it. Um, yes. Okay, well, it may not have been enough, but... I mean, it could be worse. Okay, well, the car comes back, and I'm gonna auto duel the rest. I think auto duel can handle it. So, this is turn 7. It ends at turn 7 instead of turn 5. Well, it's okay to fail since there are plenty of standard duelists left. But I was honestly hoping that I would not. I was honestly hoping that I would win within five turns there. But again, it's it's okay that I didn't. Okay. Uh, okay, well, studying decks on the deck list sounds very... I mean, it sounds like studying for an exam. I don't really want to do that. I want to make my own decks myself, thanks. Although, there, when it comes to certain build, builds, there are certain ratios that most people run and expect when a deck is used. So... Supposing that I go into a duel and I don't use those ratios, then obviously my deck may not be the ideal build. And, and that can definitely affect the outcome of the duel. It can mean I lose. Okay. This is turn two. Turn two. Alright, got it. Turn two. I'm going to start this off by uh, making a tribute summon. Yes, that is right. Tribute summon. This is going to be fantastic. Yes. I mean it. I mean the the card can't do much in that state, but it's it's no longer in my graveyard. It's on the field. All right. I end my turn. Okay. This is going to be very nice. Very nice, I say. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna pay some more life points. Yes, I, I have to do this. It's um for an important cause. I actually did not realize that only takes one to do. Okay. But this is turn four. Okay. But this time, I, I win. This time, I win within five turns. Okay, and that's, that's nice. So, I'm going to go around and finish doing the rest of the standard duelists. And then I'm going to come back. But I had to end the video somewhere, and I think it's reasonable to stop it at around this point. All right. And uh, so there are five standard duelists that need to be dueled. And this also counts, this also counts legendary duelists that are wandering, up, that are wandering around. So I'm gonna have to duel those, hold on a second. You. I need to duel you. Give me a second while I prepare myself. This is the person I'm supposed to duel again. So at least that's what their requirements say. 
So I need 5,000 or more doing assessment against this person. Now, doing this person is going to be different than the last person I do. So, um, let me think for a second. Dude, I forgot the booster. I mean, I know that it was great and all to win the way that I did last time, but... Well, I did draw the card again. Alright. Is there anything I need to be aware of? Alright. That's a Gemini monster. Alright then. But now I just keep, and now I just do what I did last time, I guess. Although it may or may not be more difficult to um, put off a second time. But now I do know, wait a minute, it's not possible. I did damage to him. Oh, um, that's not good. Uh, a good portion of the reason that I was able to get that. Oh. Okay, well. The standby damage could still boost me quite a bit. I mean, I was up there. I was seriously up there. When it, I had more dealing assessments than I needed. So if I just... So I think I might be fine. Although I'm also kind of skeptical. Like, like, I might lose points for that. So I hope I can, I hope that I deal enough damage. I hope I do enough damage that, uh, I mean, I just hope I can compensate. What does that card even do? I mean, he summons it in face up. Not a lot of cards do that. Okay, um. I definitely hope that I can, that I'm successful at doing this. It's definitely going to be a ride. Let me just say that. Alright, it is my turn. I think I will be fine. I might be able to compensate if I think of something. Stardust Dragon. And Cyber Dragon. Okay. to wait until my opponent has nearly decked out. And when he decks out, I do the effect damage to him. Okay, so so far there's 3,000. All I need is 5,000 dueling assessment. I can keep that in mind. Nine turns left to go. 
I was just about to end the video too. Now I probably will end the video if I fail. But I'm doing my best here. Right? I think I can make it. I just need to make sure that I make the right moves. Okay, well, I can use other cards as well. I should make sure I make good use of these cards. I mean, just to make sure that I've done a lot of things to compensate for doing that damage. Dear Lord, that is going to haunt me. Okay. I almost forgot to check his deck. Yeah, I don't want him decking out before I can do effect damage. Okay. Now I battle his card. I love the Lord. I completely, I, I, um, I love it too much, probably. Okay. Dude, you aren't very good at your job, are you? <laughs> yeah, I, I just, um, I just insulted his job position. I'm just like, you aren't very good at it, are you? Okay. You end your turn, alright. I will also end my turn. I wonder if I can get to 10,000 damage. No, give me a second. So, uh, 500 per standby phase. How much would I need to deal 10,000? Um, 20, which is not possible. Okay, well, it's not possible, but, but I think I can do enough damage. And that's definitely at least 5,000. Like, 5,000 is 10. All right, I draw. Okay. This deck was specifically made in mind with, um, I mean, I was planning to use a booster for this. I mean, obviously I don't need a booster, but I think it, I think it makes things easier. I mean, that's probably why they exist. To make things easier. At least a little. Not too easy, not too easy. But easy enough. Okay, my opponent has decked out. Eight thousand damage. All right, did I do it? Let's see. Okay, now before I look at that score, okay, it's a little over an hour, so. The video isn't too long, but I mean, I'm just worried about my score. Yes, I, I got over it. I got 5,000 billing assessment. Okay, that is what I cared about the most. Didn't need to be as high as last time, just over the mark. Yes, I agree with that. Um, I agree with that approach.
<laughs> yeah, I agree with that approach. I mean, seriously. Okay. Pro, you weren't actually as hard to unlock as I thought. I mean, it, I was surprised. Alright, Legendary Duelist unlocked. Linking with Crow Hogan. Sheesh. I thought Jack was out eating noodles. How did he stumble into this place? Um, he probably was doing both. I I recall Jack eating a lot of noodles. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that he obsesses over noodles. But like, okay, Jack. Okay. And then again, if I was a Jack's position, I'd probably still be eating noodles. So I probably should not be talking. And you say, come on, man. Just because Jack called you out doesn't mean you gotta listen. Knowing Jack like I do, he wants one final decisive duel with you, say, because he never lets up. Did he forget we're all supposed to be pals? Yes. Yes, he did. Okay, great, great. I did not expect that to go as well as it did. I mean, that's pretty much what happens these days anyway. I mean, I, I just make everything more difficult than it is. I'm not used to anything being easy enough to do. Although, I'm glad it didn't take that long. I'm glad. And I realize the video is still over an hour, so I don't want to keep the video going for too much longer. But, um, I do think it is good that I kept the video going because I think this video is something that can be uploaded at least. Kaylin doesn't give a shit. Jack probably thinks he should have gotten recorded. I mean, I still have that video in my own. Um, in my trash bin if I want to go drop the bat up. But unlocking Jack was a disaster. I don't know if I really need to put a disaster up. Jack will get his time soon enough. I mean, I'm sure. And now, the weirdest thing about Jack is uh, how and why I relate to him so much. Like, um, remember that episode? I mean, maybe you don't, but does anyone that has watched 5Ds remember that episode where Jack tried to get a job because he kept eating a bunch he kept drinking too much expensive coffee and so he so he tried to get a normal job and he failed at all of them so jack is basically only good at making money by going yeah pretty much and i'm sort of similar like i have a super specific skill set it sucks that I have this skill set because I basically don't want to do anything else about it like I don't want to expand this skill set I, I just want to work with what I've got yeah I just want to work with what I've got I'm pretty sure Jack is similar he doesn't actually want a real job he just wants to duel Although in the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise, dueling is a legitimate career and a legitimate job, but, uh... I mean, I consider it as something similar to, uh... To any game, really. It's it's just basically as similar as any other game. It's just a, it's a form of entertainment. Um, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. So he called me a traitor, which, um, 
I mean, I'm sure that someone out there thinks I'm a traitor, but, uh, I mean, I know he was talking to Jack. I mean, Yusei. He was talking, he was talking to Yusei when he said that. But, I'm pretty sure someone out there thinks I'm a traitor. They're just saying. I have broken some promises. For my own benefit and my own mental health. Although I don't necessarily like that I had to do that because uh, now I'm in a situation where I still had to recover from that decision. Like, it's fine to, uh, it's fine and good to do things for the sake of my mental health, but I also think about what I had to leave behind to preserve it. Oh, he put, he put time. Time Wizard was in- oh, thank god. I was worried, I was worried. Stardust Dragon probably protected me there. So I should use you say against all of those duelists with that deck. No, no, I, I don't think that's enough. Anyway, I'm just going to keep dueling these standard duelists. But I no longer have to just- I mean, I can just do whatever. But I did make all the effort to update, I mean to upgrade the stage, and I can make it to the next stage, so I may as well um, finish off these standard goals and get the stage back to where, get, I may as well get the respawns back. And I now have a lot of keys. I mean that's basically... That's basically a good reason to keep playing today. I can get more keys. I can just grind them. I mean, you guys notice that the, that the cost just increases. Uh, yeah, but I'm definitely in a much better position to, uh, to actually keep going with the event. Because I have the keys. I didn't have the keys when it when I noticed that the event was time gated. I was running out. Yeah, I was running out at that time. So, I mean, making me not be able to continue with the event. Well, that's not a bad thing, especially considering I'm almost obsessed with this game. I mean, I mean, come on. I had to have gotten into this, into the franchise somehow. It can't just be the characters. You know, I was, I was listening to something. I mean, I was reading something on Twitter and someone was asking this woman why she was using cyber dragons and shouldn't she be using a girl or death? If I knew who that guy was, I would have Flit my shit. Yeah. I use Cyber Dragon if I want to, okay? Thank you. I use I use whatever I want. I mean, sure, I like some of the girly decks, but I don't have to stick to just those. I swear, Yu-Gi-Oh! players can be such assholes sometimes. Now, not all of them. Some of them are actually not bad at all. But... When you find the ones that are awful and toxic, oh god. Yeah, shit gets bad really, really fast. Okay, well that's the last of them. That's, that's the last of them. I need to take a break and I probably need more water because uh, I haven't gotten more. I haven't gotten more and I also haven't been drinking it. I should drink my water. If I don't drink water, then uh, bad things happen. Like my voice giving out in the middle of a video and other things. Okay guys, so, so I unlocked Crow's unlock missions in this video. Like I said, I was going to. Surprisingly, I didn't have to end the video to do that, but I'm actually pleased with the results. So, I'm, in the next video, I'm going to see if I can actually do them. 
Yeah, I'm going to go read them and I'm going to see if I can actually do them. Anyway, guys, um, that's it for now. Stay tuned for my next video because I'm uploading another one later.